Hi, welcome back to class. In this lesson, we'll see the simple machine. There are different types of machines, ranging from the lever system, pulleys, inclined planes, and even the simple hydraulic press. In this class, our focus will be on introducing the simple machine. We will define basic terms surrounding the simple machine and also use an example to help you understand how to solve questions relating to the simple machine. That said, let's get started. A simple example of the simple machine is the lever system. Now, if I have a load this way on the lever system and an effort is applied here, such that here is my load and here I have my applied effort. Now, the first thing I want us to see with this system is that between the load and this point, which is called a focal, there's a distance which I'll call my load distance. And between this point and the effort, there's another distance which I'll refer to as my effort distance. Now, for this machine, I'm expecting that this machine should do work. It should do work. That is, it should perform a particular function. And for the lever system, is actually to raise this load. Now, my output work, work output from this thing, my work output, please permit my pen today, will be given as load times my load distance while my work input permit my pen please i'm having some little challenge with my pen will be given as my effort times effort distance now for this system it has a mechanical advantage my mechanical advantage ma is the ratio of my load to my effort. While I should also have a velocity ratio, which is the same thing as my effort distance, that is the distance covered by the effort over my load distance and finally i want to define the efficiency of the system the efficiency of this system which is equals to the work output all over the work input times 100 percent now, if you look at this carefully, you see that the work output is given as load times load distance, as we initially defined, over the work input also is given as effort times effort distance. Now, times 100, that's efficiency. So that this now is the same thing as, if you look at this side of the, this is, this refers to the load over effort refers to my mechanical advantage times my load distance over effort distance is the same thing as 1 over velocity ratio. So that this is 1 times 1 over VR. Now times hundred that will my efficiency sorry permit my pain i don't know what's wrong with my pain today it's been been misbehaving but i just decided to do this to deliver this news now my efficiency now will be equals to me all over vr times hundred this hundred times hundred in, in percentage in percentage now with this we've been able to define 
the work output, work inputs, mechanical advantage, velocity ratio of the system, and also the efficiency. Let's solve a simple example. Now, the example says a machine with velocity ratio of 5. Here we've been given that our VR is equal to 5. Used to raise a load of 1.2 kg of mass through a height of 10 meters. If the work done to raise this load is 100 joules, find the useful work output. Now our work output, like we initially defined, will be given as load times load distance. That's the same thing as load 1.2 times 10 times 10. I have done 1.2. Here is 1.2 kg. We're converting it to newtons by multiplying it by acceleration due to gravity, 10, and finally multiply it with 10 with the height. So it gives me 120 joules. Now, if the work done to raise the load is 800 joules, that means find 2, the efficiency. Now, my efficiency, remember we said the efficiency is work output all over work input times 100%. Now, efficiency at this stage will be the same thing as my work output is 120 over 800, that's the work input, times 100%. So that the efficiency of this system, if you multiply with your calculator, it should come to 15%. Now let's see the mechanical advantage of this system. Already we've gotten the efficiency to be 15%. Remember that the efficiency of the system is equal to Me over VR times 100 so that 15 now will be equals to Me which is our unknown over VR which is 5 times 100 percent so that let's cross multiply if you cross multiply you have that 75 is equals to Me by 100 so that Me, mechanical advantage, will be the same thing as 75 over 100, which is equal to 0 0.75. I believe before my next lesson, I would have sorted out my pen. Can you just bear with me? My pen is seriously misbehaving. And let's see another example. Our second example says a machine with a velocity ratio of 6, here VR in this case is equal to 6, requires 800 joules of work to raise a load of 600 newtons. That means my work input in this system is equal to 800 joules. And the load to raise a load of 600 newtons through a vertical distance of 1 meter. So that my work output in this case will be equal to 600 newton times 1, which is equal to 600 joules. Now, the efficiency of this system can be easily calculated. will be given as work output over work input. That's 600 over 800 times 100 which will give you now 100 here is 100 here now 600 over 800 that 2 here is 4 2 here is 3 obviously that's 3 over 4 times 100 which is equal to 75%. That means the efficiency of that system is 75%. Now let's calculate the mechanical advantage. Remember that Me over Vr is times 100 is the same thing as the efficiency of the system. 
so that my Ne, so that my Ne over Vr of 6 times times 100 is equal to 75. My Ne will be equal to 75 times 6 over 100, which is the same thing as 4 point, 4.5. You use your calculator, she comes to 4.5. Can you bear with me? My, my plan has been challenging. I hope with this lesson you understand how to work with machines, the simple machine, and in subsequent lessons I will explain further. And I believe my plan should be fixed before then. Thank you for staying with us and driving.